In the past, we pay for a game and then we enjoy it. But competitions have been increasing, and people don't want to pay for games anymore. Why pay for something when you can get an alternative for free? Therefore, a lot of free games were born for the market in your Google Play or in App Store. But if the game is free, how do the developers get paid then? Do they do it just for artistic purpose or just for fun? Of course not. What they use is a model called freemium. Freemium is a word combined with free and premium. Free means given without charge, while premium means paying. Then what exactly is freemium? That's a contradiction. Pay or no pay? There are three main ways for them to monetize. The first one is free to pay, which earns money with ads or cosmetic and skin. For purchase, just for the look and would not affect gameplay. The second one is pay to win, where players can pay to become more powerful and do and unlock things faster. And the third one is pay to play, which refers to games that offer some basic gameplay or a limited time period for you to try and play, and then you have to spend money to unlock and play further. So, what is the problem? The problem with freemium game is that although you downloaded it for free at first. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this chest. It is a 15 second chest. It's going to give me gold, which I can use to upgrade troops. It's going to give me a knight as well as air. But you would pay a lot in the end. Because honestly, I think I'm a way better player than all of those guys. I just don't have the cards to match up right now. I'm three levels down on most of my cards, which is a little bit of a bummer. But of course, the game's only been out a week. And when people drop that much money to be at the top, there's not really too much you can do. The game is designed to be extremely hard or unfair. So if you don't pay, you basically cannot play. Balloon makes his way over with a final set of arrows. That's going to be a three crown victory against Pierre, winning our first battle at level eight. We now can't just purchase a game and then sit back and enjoy, or we might have to watch numerous of ads. And developer use behavioral psychology to make us stay and come back to the game more often than what we would have wanted. On a side note, this is how social media works as well. Freemium games have good and bad sides. Some well spend more money to enjoy and support the game, while making the longevity of the game longer. And the people who cannot or don't want to pay can still. Enjoy the game in one way or another, but the thing is that it is possible that the wells get addicted to the game. They have to pay so much for it. The smartphone app Candy Crush is played by more than 45 million users each month. It's addicting. It is. It is no joke. It is extremely, extremely addicting. The game's manufacturer reports earnings of six hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars a day from players purchasing extra lives and access to the next level. It is like gambling addiction. The games use behavioral psychology and habit-forming science to make the game addictive. The developers encourage them to be addicted. Freemium is definitely a business model to stay. Companies have been getting success earning money with freemium. In fact, some software, for example, the Finji Resolve, a powerful editing software by itself for free. Normal users are very happy with it, and never have to find a way to download a software illegally. While for the professional usage, people can always buy the studio version. It is important for developers to use the freemium model wisely and ethically. Otherwise, the world would be left with crappy games to induce you to pay and be addicted to it. I think we as users have to be mindful of the opportunity cost of a thing rather than only seeing the free price tag. At the end of the day. The developers have no choice but to make what we want to use. So if you don't want to be like this, I don't have a fucking job. Okay, I'm a YouTube check agent here. Yeah, I don't have any money. Okay, well then I'm taking your iPad. No, don't take my fucking I'm iPad. No, goddamn it! Obviously, you can't be trusted with it. I will. I'll give you the money. Just give me back my fucking iPad. I want to beat the game. Take your fucking money. I want to beat the level. Let me beat the level. I just bought three new eyes. 
choose your options wisely. Until next time, thanks for watching.